A crisis meeting is underway in Berlin to discuss the threat of domestic right-wing terrorism. It ends a week of scandal for Germany after revelations that a group of neo-Nazis was linked to a series of murders and a bomb attack over the past decade. The case has highlighted intelligence failures and raised disturbing questions about the country's handling of racially motivated violence. The government is scrambling to act and prevent lasting damage to Germany's reputation. Federal and regional ministers are meeting in Berlin to agree on ways of tackling far-right extremists. The government wants to create a nationwide database of neo-Nazis, but ministers are split over the idea. It's important because there have been breakdowns in communication. All information would be in one database and accessible by everyone. I am very skeptical because many people have claimed to have a solution to the problem without really thinking things through. I'm in favor of first examining things and finding out more. The government commissioner for integration, Maria Böhme, met with representatives of immigrant communities. She voiced regret that investigations into the killings had jumped to the wrong conclusions and called for a new approach to investigating racist crimes. Community leaders say their confidence in Germany's security agencies has been shaken. This shows us that we have unfortunately neglected the issues of right-wing terrorism, extremism and racism over the past few years. The government is keen to show that far-right violence hasn't drifted off its radar. It's under mounting pressure to prove it can get on top of the problem. Our political correspondent Simon Young has been following that story and joins us from outside the ministry where the stalks are taking place. Simon, politicians and intelligence officials under huge pressure to come up with answers. What are likely to be the central points under discussion today? Well, Amrita, I think the key thing that the politicians are here to do today is to show that they are responding uh, to this problem. And essentially, there are two ideas for impro improving the flow of information uh, between uh, the different agencies that have to try to get to grips with far-right terrorism. Uh, one is this idea of a national register of potential far-right uh, terrorist extremists, uh, which would allow all the agencies, the police and intelligence services that are concerned with this, uh, to keep an eye uh, on these people. And the Interior Minister is also pushing an idea uh, of a, uh, a law enforcement centre specifically dedicated to this problem. It's a bit like uh, the structure that's already in place for dealing with potential uh, Islamist terrorism. Uh, the, the other thing that people are saying here is the need to reduce the number of agencies uh, in total that are dealing with it. There are 16 separate uh, intelligence services in the different regional states in Germany. Uh, the Justice Minister says that's just too many. We've got to bring it down to three or four uh, and be more effective in sharing information between these different bodies. But it's not just systemic failures that we're talking about. We are hearing calls now for a change of attitude in dealing with right-wing crime. Tell us more. I think that's right. I think the nation as a whole is still getting to grips uh, with the, the shock that people feel about these revelations of far-right terrorism. But there have also been criticisms of political leaders uh, for not uh, taking this problem seriously enough in the past, particularly in eastern Germany. Uh, one has to realise there are villages uh, and uh, towns and even uh, whole regions in eastern Germany particularly uh, where the sight of uh, what you might call neo-Nazi youths with shaved heads uh, uh, and... Uh, you know, heavy boots. Uh, this is not nothing unusual. Indeed, there's a good measure of passive support, at least, for such people. Uh, what people are saying now is uh, we've got to show uh, more determination to combat those ideas with programmes in schools, for instance, uh, and to get out there and say publicly uh, that this kind of thing is not acceptable because it's, it's those ideas in the background that may lead, in the end, to uh, these terrible crimes that uh, we've seen revealed over the past week. Right, Simon Young, thank you very much for that.